Hello friends, welcome back to this new episode and in this episode I will show you the checkout action from our cart page. So let's get started and if you are new on my channel please subscribe my channel and turn on notification. So let's go back to my Eclipse ID and the project is open in my uh, IDE and it's uh, running on my browser and here in my cart page i have uh, two products uh, i have added two products in my cart page and there is a checkout option you can see so if i increase the product quantity the price has been increased from the checkout also also from the product price section so if i click on the second product increment so it's also increased the price here and also in the checkout option so total price so there we have a link here so this is a button so you can see right now uh, at the left corner so there is no link so first of all we will create a surplus uh, to perform that action and then we will link it with our checkout button so let's uh, go back to my eclipse id and create a servlet at first so expand the java resource source and this is our servlet so create a new servlet and uh, uh, name the servlet is uh, checkout servlet then click on next and uh, edit the url so the url make it uh, cart checkout and then click on ok then click on next and then click on finish so i'm removing unnecessary comments or post here so you can see our do post method is handling our do get method so i'm removing this part also from here and just uh, i'm starting a try block uh, print writer out equal to response dot get writer and from the cache section uh, exception e and e dot print structures so this is our basic functionality and i'm going to uh, write a printout so out dot uh, println so check out servlet click on save then i'm going to copy this url and then going back to our card.jsp page and here is the total price and here is the link so i am making a link here control s okay so we have created a new servlet so we need to restart our server so restart click on here then restart our server all right our server has been restarted and you can see that our card is empty because our session has been restarted or destroyed with new session so if i hover on the checkout so at the right left side corner you can see that our shopping cart slash card dash checkout dash out so if i click on here so you can see that it's redirecting us to our card servlet card checkout servlet so that means our servlet is working perfectly so we need to work on here so let's go back to our servlet so this is our checkout servlet um, closing this tab it's not uh, required now also this user down okay then order now servlet we don't need it but okay so in in checkout uh, servlet we need to do our action the product we are getting from our session we need to retrieve that uh, product from our session cut list product and then we need to send those data to our DAO to insert that information to our database okay so let's do that so first of all uh, we need our date formatter so i'm just uh, copy it from our previous order now servlet so i'm just uh, copy and paste it here and uh, import it simple date format java text and also import it java util okay so i'm making it use a strategy so then we can import all the util resource okay so we have a restore uh, we have a set our time date and time format so that we can use our date because in our database we are using uh, a date which is a worker not a timestamp so then uh, our uh, task will be to retrieve our cart uh, product from the session so 
I'm going back to my order now servlet and then I'm doing that uh, same thing just I'm going to copy this uh, line because uh, this is the line where we are retrieving in the cart list so just import the model I'm making a comment here so retrieve retrieve all cart products and after then we received our cart products from our session so we need to perform some action so what action we need we need our authentication also uh, so we need to check it out that uh, our user is locked in or not so for that we need to retrieve our authentication so how to get the authentication so from here go so we just uh, copy this portion because we have uh, done this before so i just i'm not going to type it manually and import that model user model so user authentication authentication so now i need to check it uh, that condition that user is locked in or the cut list is empty or not so write uh, check auth and uh, cut list so writing a if block so cart list is not equal to null and we need to perform the both action and auth is not equal to null so that means we have user locked in and we have our cart list products the product list is not empty and then here we are uh, set our uh, else condition so if uh, if it's empty now we have our uh, two conditions so if we can say auth is equal to null then we are going to uh, send that response to uh, response dot send redirect to login dot jsp so if auth is equal to null then we send the response to the login dot jsp else we'll send that response to our card dot jsp so response dot send redirect card dot jsp i think that makes sense okay so in our card when we have the cut list product and user locked in so we need to perform our action so first of all we need to start a for loop and we will retrieve all the information from our cut list array and then create our orders and then order object and then we will send that information to our DAO. okay so start a for loop cut so c clone cart list and create a new object order so order equal to new order so we need to import it so this time i'm going to make it a star so that so we can import all the model from our model package then order dot uh, set so set id is um, c dot uh, get id which is actually our product id then order dot set uid set uid where we can get that auth dot get id so actually this is giving us the user id then order dot set quantity so c dot get quantity and order dot set date so where we can get the date so we can say formatter now formatter dot format and then we have a date because actually this is our order object and then we will send the data to our order DAO so order DAO is equal to o DAO equal to instantiate the order DAO first so new order order DAO and uh, get a connection dbcon dot get connection so actually we we instantiate our order DAO with our connection and then from the o DAO just to call our insert insert order so insert order we have uh, made it in our last video so this is our order object and pass it here so this is our order DAO and we have created a method in uh, last video so that is responsible to insert a single order okay so so this is our checkout servlet and then mm, that is done from here now we are going to store it in a variable which is returning type is boolean so result okay so if not result so if uh, not result so i'm going to break the loop so if one product has not inserted or failed to insert then i'm breaking the loop and then i'm coming back from the loop and uh, there i am cut dash list and dot uh, we can say dot 
clear and then also response send the response to response dot send redirect to the order dot jsp page so orders dot jsp page so this is the basic uh, functionality so here i'm writing a comment uh, repair the order object instantiate the dao class and here you can say calling the insert method so uh, this is our uh, basic or the functionality for our checkout uh, servlet here something is not perfect for real life production so uh, let me explain you that so here you can see that so it's like if your cart product has 10 items so that means i am instantiating the order DAO 10 times and uh, creating and checking the cut connection and calling our connection method 10 times and then uh, then we are inserting that data so you are calling that method so we are uh, preparing the object then calling that method again and again and again so sometimes uh, you can uh, restore it uh, so you can uh, uh, create that object from here uh, that is creating a new array list to store that object to a new array list and then uh, send that array list to order DAO and their order DAO you can create another method who is responsible for to insert multiple orders so that is another best best practice but you can follow this up as the beginner level so that is not wrong for me i think so when you are learning but when you are going to real time production then you can you need to think about it so what will make your application efficient on performance i think this is done for me and i'm saving it and uh, just uh, come back to our index page and restart our server okay so then our cart list is empty so i'm going to add uh, two more products in my cart list and this is our cart list then. okay let me increase the product quantity from here so let me increase the second product to three so one two and three and the price has been increased to 360 dollar 360 dollar and here also the total price so let me click on checkout and it's asking for the login credential so let me log in first and click on login okay now i am logged in and then let's go back to our cart page and the you can see or we have the increment here so let's click on checkout now so it's redirect us to the orders.jsp page so that means our order has been inserted successfully okay so now let's uh, go back to our database to check it out that our order has been inserted or not so now here we can you can see that we have uh, three products uh, from the previous video so let me refresh the table so now you can see with that we have uh, five products so here you can see we have the five products so that means our order has been inserted successfully to our orders.jsp base so here here is uh, one thing i would like to share with you there's some also a bad practice so it's like that uh, if one order has been failed here so if one order has been insertion is failed so then uh, it will break the loop and then it will uh, come back to this section and it will clear the cart list so that means it will destroy your all cart list you got it this is you need to improve it with your own logic it's your task to done this but if you need any help just uh, uh, comment below i will help you as much as possible so here you can see our cart now is empty because our two product has been inserted successfully and the cart list now zero okay so friends that's all for this video tutorial i hope you enjoy this video and uh, i really appreciate uh, for your support uh, if you do subscribe on my channel and comment below give me your opinion how was the tutorial and where i can improve it there are lots of things and what you want to learn in from the next video or in next tutorial so comment below your opinions so see you in next video